automatically create Jira issues from Airtable. So in this video, I will show you how to integrate Airtable and Jira software in such a way that whenever you and your team adds new issue details into the Airtable, the same issues will be created into the Jira software as well. In this way, you do not have to manually export the issues from Airtable and import into the Jira software on the daily basis because every single issue will be synced automatically with the Jira software. Do you also want to create this automation for yourself? Then come with me and I will show you everything step by step. So this is my Airtable sheet where me and my team are managing all the issues and this is the Jira software and I want that whenever me and my team are adding the issues here, the same issue should be created automatically into the Jira software as well. And to do that, I'll have to integrate both the applications, which I am going to do with the help of Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation software and I am an existing user, so I am already logged in. You can also create your free account in Pabli Connect in just two minutes it from this sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test this automation now once you will reach to the dashboard of pabli connect the very first thing you'll have to do is to click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation i have provided basically i have pasted the name as automatically create jira issues from a table okay now simply click on create and after that you will notice two boxes okay so these boxes are called as trick trigger an action okay and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever this happens then automatically do this understand with an example also let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application then automatically send an email via gmail application to your customer okay so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation okay and according to our use case whenever any new issue is added into the airtable application Application, then automatically create that issue into the Jira software application. Okay, so that is why I have selected both the application in this trigger and the action window. And now the idea here is I am going to connect to both the applications one by one with the Pabli Connect. Okay, so firstly I will select the trigger even that is new record. Okay, and now simply click on connect. Click on add new connection and for the connection it is asking for the token which you can directly copy from here okay so click on this developer help section and if you are already logged in into the Airtable it will directly take you to that specific place okay now simply click on this create new token button let me minimize it so that you can see this button clearly okay and then provide a random name to your token okay so how about I provide the name something like integration with the Pabli okay I'm providing this particular name now as per the instruction I am going to select the following scopes okay here you can mention here you can see that lot of scopes are mentioned okay so let me select the same one by one that is data records read data records write and let me select other scopes as well once all the scopes are selected now you will also have to select a base again as per the instruction okay so i have selected the base as well now simply click on this create token button and this is how a new token will be generated which you can directly copy from this a table and then you can paste it here okay clicking on save and this is how you will notice that my a table account will be connected with the pabli connect okay and as soon as the connection is made you can see that what whatever the basis I have created inside my Airtable account have started visible here. Okay, so I'm going to select currently this particular base that is all issues of software. Okay, so let me search for the same that is all issues of the software. Okay, it is not visible. So I will click on this refresh to fetch new items and then I will search for that base once again. Alright, so let me search for the same that is all issues of software and as soon as I select the base, you will see that the table will be also selected automatically because I have a single table here that is table one. Okay, coming back and here you can notice it is selected. Now it is asking for the trigger field. Okay, so firstly, you will have to read the instructions. Create a field in your table schema with the field name created 
and with the uh, field type created type okay so uh, i am going to follow the instructions and going to create a new field with the same name that is created and the created type basically the field type should be created time okay so i think i have followed the instructions clicking on this create field button and this is how a field will be created okay coming back here and let me read it if you do not have a created field in your table schema please create one well i have already created one because without this field trigger will not work correctly and here the steps are also mentioned here okay so let me click on this refresh button and you will notice that the created field that created field will be fetched up here automatically okay so how about i click on this button make sure that the data should be present into the first row of your a table sheet okay so uh, the data is already available clicking on this button save and send test request and waiting for the response to receive and here you can notice that the our response is received into the public connected dashboard and these are the same details okay so let me show you the details one by one here i have the id of the record okay so basically this is my record and this is the id of that record here i have the issue summary issue priority issue due date issue description okay and here we have the created time okay so let me show you the same that is issue summary issue description issue date issue priority and this created field okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between public connect and airtable is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen every time you and your team will add new issue details into the a table the same issue will be fetched up automatically via public connect in every 10 minutes because this trigger will check for the new data in every 10 minutes basically the trigger here is the polling based which is going to fetch the data in every 10 minutes and once the data is received here what exactly we were doing so we wanted to create a jira issue okay so the application is already selected it simply selected the action event that is create an issue because i want to do the same simply click on connect and just like we have connected a table and public connect now i am going to connect to this jira and public connect okay so clicking on this button and here it is asking for the permission because i am already logged in into my jira software into our different app okay so i have provided the access the permission and here you can see the authorization is successful and the jira software will also be connected with the pabli connect all right so it is connected and as soon as it is connected here you can see again that whatever the projects are actually available inside jira account have started visible here okay so i want to create these issues into this demo service project okay so that is why i have selected the same let me show you here we have two projects that is demo service project and this connect app okay so i have selected the same coming back here and now it is asking for following details like the parent key the issue type the summary description and so on okay so i am going to provide the data one by one into these fields okay so let me show you when i will create a new issue it is going to ask me the issue type okay so assume that whatever the issues i am adding into the a table these are actually task okay so here i am going to mention the task only okay so asking for the parent key well this is not mandatory this is not a required field so i am leaving it blank As asking for the issue type which i have just shown you okay so again i am going to select the task only because here i am going to mention all the task okay asking for the summary well remember we have the summary and the description of our issue which we have already captured into the pabli connected dashboard into this previous step okay and the interesting thing is i don't need to manually copy this data and paste it here i am going to map this data and mapping is very simple simply click on this particular field and you will find the same data the above data here in the drop down search for the summary of the project summary of the issue okay so i have selected the same asking for the description okay so let me map the same okay now you must be thinking that what is this mapping which i am repeating again and again in front of you okay so whatever the details i am mapping here these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time okay i am repeating this again 
these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time in next time now it is asking for the priority okay so instead of selecting this priority from the drop down i am going to again map the value because if i will select any value manually or from a drop down that value will remain same okay so what will happen if i will select let's say this high so every single issue which is about to create in jira it will be created with the high priority okay so i cannot fix it so what i can do is i can simply enable this mapping button and then remove the number basically in place of highest high low we are going to map the priority on the basis of numbers okay so i have deleted the same and remember we have already defined the priority into the number format into our a table dashboard okay so i am going to map the same priority value from there only okay so let me select the same and here we have the priority as well okay so i think i have provided all the important details which are actually required in creating an issue into the jira software okay so let me click on the save and send test request button and i'm sorry why it is taking time i'll have to wait for that all right so it is done clicking on this button and fingers crossed waiting for the response to be received and here you can see that the response is received going back to my jira software and let me first to refresh the software dashboard all right so i have refreshed to my dashboard and none of the issues actually available here so clicking on this your work section and in a recent section you can notice that yes the same issue has been created automatically bug in workflow history section okay so let me show you the same we have provided the summary as bug in workflow history all right so it has created with the same name there's a bug in workflow history section when we are applying the filters okay let me cross check whether the same description description has been updated or not okay so here we have the summary the description and the due date and the priority as well okay so this is how now onwards every time you and your team are going to add any kind of issue into the a table the same issue will be created automatically into the jira software as well and to automate this process you need to create this automation inside pabli connect just once after that you can sit back and relax because pabli connect will take care of all the task in the back end you do not have to do anything manually and just in case if you want to access this automation inside your pabli connect account i will also attach that link into the description box you just need to click on that link and sign up into the pabli connect and then you will be able to access this workflow this automation inside your pabli connect account that to for free Not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of Pabli Connect and for the latest updates of Pabli Connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video